Hello, and welcome to the stream. This is Otis Awesome, and we're playing Burly Men at Sea. I honestly have no idea what to expect. We're just going to see what happens. Uh, oh, I... I got a message! I'm also eating Tic Tacs, so don't mind me. Ooh, what's this? Cause one of the fishermen some kind of rubbish in the nets. Message in a bottle, yeah. Useless sea shark, grumbles the hasty one. Nothing on it but our own island. Map cast to sea without purpose? Must be more to it, argues the steady one. The brave one brightens. A mystery, aye! Folks in the village may know something of it. We should head back. Looks like this might be an interactive story of some sorts. Not sure. Okay, this is our gameplay. The bash that. Hey guys. I'll click on the pigeons. Scare them. Oh. Go in here. Oh, hello. Baker lady? Well, if it isn't the brother's beard, what can I do for you fellas? Well, we have got some hella beards. Steady beard prepares to speak, but the question is intercepted by hasty beard. Know anything about maps? We found one! Aye, and no ordinary one, exclaims brave beard. It's mysterious. The loaf shaped woman continues working silently for a moment and then pauses to look up. Mystery, is it? I'm afraid I'm not the imaginative type, boys. We old friends, the ordinary and I. She concludes, returning to her work. Yeah, I think this is like an interactive story. I can sort of weirdly move along by uh, using the right stick. Go in here. What's in here? Hello, Mr. Chickens. Oh. Hello, Mr. Cow. Brave Beal settles over to the chewing cow. You wouldn't know anything about mysterious maps, would you, old girl? He pretends not to wait for an answer. <laughs> Cute chickens. <laughs> I still love the way the sound effects are like made by some normal person. Alright, kid. Are. Not a person on a flute. A sea chart, eh? The young man shrugs. Can't say I know much about them. With these landlocked legs of mine. Old fella next door in the coffee shop might have answers. Alright, let's go in the coffee shop then. All the houses look the same though. There, grey beard. Are you my grandpa or what? Y'all be wanted a drink and a seat by the fire, I expect. 
and then cast a dubious glance at the tiny stools before complying with a shrug. Behind them proceeds a fair friendly whirr of mechanical sounds. Someone's been making noises with the mouth. <laughs> Whoa, whoosh. The old man soon approaches with a steaming tray. Single origin espresso, roast it myself, he declares. They stare blankly. Why don't you just tell them what you're actually there for? Nom nom nom. Ooh, two packs. I'm not there in the whole time. He sighs, coffee, relaxing. The man sip continuously, eyes widen. Now what you found, he trickles at their stone faces. Observation, that's all. Folks come in with questions, and yours is plainly rolled in your head. Steady beard grins. Aye, they are the man we want to see. He unrolls the parchment between them, all leaning. The old man deliberates for a moment before speaking. Hmm, seems what you hear is a variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic feats. Aye, Brave Beard leaps from his seat to pound Steady Beard on the back. But there's nothing on it, remarks Hasty Beard flatly, eyeing the old man. Let me guess, it's magic and it appears when you um, investigate. Gameplay wise, the old man grins at his sceptical look. Aye, it's a worthwhile adventure that begins with the unknown. This map has tales yet to tell. Oh. He turns to walk away. Oh there, what sort of tales? Calls Brave Beard. That depends, realise the old man, on what sort you choose. He crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. Alright then. Mysterious bomb. Steady beard coughs awkwardly. Neat. Guess where we're going then. Uh, thanks for these suppresso. He tries, but no answer. The creaking and all the noises and sound effects are made by a person. Nothing out here. Alright. Let's go and investigate the rest of the town. This control is super weird, you know. I don't think we investigated this. What's in here? Ching! 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 The sound effects are hilarious. The man glances up at Ching. their approach, then Ching. returns to his work with a grunt. Ching. 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 Mind if we interrupt for a moment? Shout Steady Beard. Ching. Ching. See, we found this map in our nets this morning, and uh, do you happen to know anything about the unknown? Ching. Or heroic feats and Ching. tales and such? Ching. Brave Beard, hopefully. Ching. With a brief pause as the man stops hammering, he grunts. They wait, and it appears he has nothing further to add. Wow, what an unfriendly guy. Oh well. We will continue. <laughs> Music cute. Right, I guess we've got nothing else to do. So let's go to the boat. Go on a ye old adventure. Seagull sounds so shocked. Sea rats, remarks Stacy Beard, squinting. What do you reckon they're after? Steady Beard frowns. I don't like it. That's a feel of mischief about it. Mischief, alright. 
Mischief away, Greg grins brave beard, lo loosening the sails. Whoa! Okay! Well, we've been eight. It's dark inside the whale, but the man appeared to be intact. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. Okay, what the heck are you? Trophy earned great bum barnacled one. Hello there, little girls. Join us, friends. From whence do you come? asks one of the nymphs. We were sailing for adventures and heroic feats when this castle whale fellow scooped us up, explains Steady Beard. It really very discouraging. <laughs> a man can't properly have an adventure at sea indoors, as a brave beard. Not exactly indoors, more in mouth, but <laughs> in body. Be calm, friend. Imagine the wave become the wave, advises the second nymph. The others exchange mellow glances, nodding approval. Can't say I follow the sentiment in that remark, comments Hasty Beard. But if you advise us on how to hop off this vessel, we'll be on our way. The great barnacled one brings us to a place we could not go ourselves. But those unwilling may depart through the fountain of the faithness. Of the faithless, adds the nymph, gesturing sadly toward what appears to be a hatch. And our ship? We can't fit through that. She can't fit through that. Fear not. Once the great Barnacled One reaches the place of promise, he will open the wide gate that all may go out as they came in. So either we escape with no ship, or wait for the creature to open this mall? The nymphs nod grand grandly. Time flows quickly in contemplation of the Great One's splendor. He who chooses the path of waiting is welcome here by the fire. Raphia's face shows alarm. I think we'd uh, prefer to look around first. The nymphs begin to sway, but to all is darkness beyond the circle of the Great One's love. He must first seek enlightenment of. Found it! Interrupts the hasty beard, <laughs> grabbing a torch from the fire before them. <laughs> now don't be too hasty. You never get anywhere if you're too hasty. Ew, what is this? Ew! We could tickle the tongue with the flame. That'll be our exit, observes Hasty Beard eagerly. Give her a tug. But we aren't properly flotated, contends another steady beard. We can't go about tossing ourselves overboard without certain assurances. Rubbish, grunts Brave Beard. Give me water and I'll teach it to carry me. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll. We have the choice of whether to uh, bother the whale and go out without the ship or to try and fix our ship first. We, we can go exploring. Ooh! What's over here? What are these? A few barrels! Left empty by the morning's interrupted work. What work? Now float free beside the boat. The men consider them in the torchlight. If I were the puzzle solving sort, observes Hasty Beard, I'd call that a solution. Aye, they'll float, not Steady Beard, but not as well as our ship. Brave Beard scoffs. What are we, landsmen? Arms and legs float well enough. Well, I guess we're kind of ready. <laughs> See, like some bubbling and stuff here. There's something there. Oh, hang on. There is something there. 
Oh, okay. Never mind. What if I talk to you girls now we have the protection? You cannot await the place of promise closed in this manner, friends. Or is it? Nymph's rudders. Departure, you seek. <laughs> Escape, I'd call it. Or else hasty beard, we're feeling mighty faithless. There's a gasp from the nymphs. Then you must go at once. Step through the door behind us and pull the cord to summon the fountain. But the bower clothed men take steps to evade the remaining conversation. Oh dear. Looks like they were trying to tell me something. Yo 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 yo. Okay then. I guess we're gonna try and go. Horrible noises, you. Hasty Beard is fiery with excitement. Summon that fountain and let's be off. Brave Beard grumbles eloquently from his barrel. Steady Beard looks worried. We go. Wooden trousers, Strathiern. Well, we might as well swim around. Look at our little legs kicking. Tiring, the barrel clothes men settle back to drift with the current. May as well see where this takes us, observes Steady Beard blankly. Bleakly. Time passes. Brave Beard begins to snore, ruthlessly from behind. Time passes. Oh dear, have I picked the wrong choice? Um. Oh! What is this? Ship ahead! The shout wakens Bravebeard, who eagerly overturns his barrel, resurfacing a moment later to cough out. It begins! What begins? Oh crud! Oh, what the heck? What the devilry? Screams Hasty Beard. Is that an owl person? Uh, oh god, are we dead? The grim cloaked figure clears his throat as he approaches. Greetings, please come aboard for a complimentary trip to the afterlife. He we're dead, I knew it. Ah, oh, well, replies Steady Beard, thank you, for we prefer the long way. There's a long silence, the figure is masked, but the men feel distinctly that he is sulking. At least he hears a des at last he hears a desolate sigh. How dare you not take my boat, you <laughs> you ungrateful buggers. Ah, <laughs> oh, people these days, says Death. You will not willingly forfeit your souls, he pleads. <laughs> I'm not already dead yet. It's quite painless, and I would at least be promoted from this apprentice issue rowboat. <laughs> After silence follows, then he continues despairingly. There must be a race. And this says to be his face cheers significantly. Maybe you would be so kind as to lose. No, of course not. He sighs again deeply. We race through the cliffs of despair, he explains mournfully. If the three of you pass me at any point, I lose. If I take the lead, however, unlikely, I don't lose. Meaning you win? I had not thought of it that way, but I suppose that would be the case, yes. Without waiting to confer, Hasty Beard sets off paddling furiously. That's what. No, Hasty Beard! Oh, um. back. Am 
much for dragging him away. <laughs> we win. He's so sad. Really very sorry for scuttling your promotion and all that off a study beard. It's not so bad. Uh, tries Brave Beard, you're a boat, and that's nice, scary mask. <laughs> I do have a nice mask, sniffs the muffled voice. Great, well, goodbye, calls Hasty Beard, paddling away. The others join him. <laughs> this is a rather strange story and strange game. Another trophy, the long way. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> After a time, the men begin to notice something strange about the setting sun. Its course seems to be dri drifting gradually left. Never seen the sun move like that, Brave Beard muses aloud. What's it up to? Steady Beard looks worried. I have a feeling it's more serious than a wayward sun. Did you notice the wind? Can't seem to make up its mind. I far worse realize Tasty Beard is a current we're caught in. A mischievous one by my reckoning, that steady beard, his voice growing more tense. We're drifting in a circle and faster by the minute. Baby beards shout names they fear. Maelstrom! Uh-oh. High above the water, the acceleration swirl is unmistakable. Men paddle furiously, but the widening vortex is inescapable. They are carried deeper, thrown against the rising wall of water. Oh, well. Oh! Collapsing, the maelstrom tosses the men in their barrels towards the surface. Hey, I fixed it. Out of the deepening. <laughs> Trophy earned. Getting a lot of trophies for them. I don't know what. If we keep going right, we'll end up somewhere. <laughs> keep going the same way. Where are we even going? What are we even doing? Not sure I like this fog. What is this? Well met, bearded travellers. The voice is deep and musical. Uh, hello, stammers brave beard, wonder apparent on his face. You've seen much this day, she continues, smiling. The men nod unnecessarily. <laughs> Yet you have not seen all, she peers at each of them. Other paths lie untrodden behind you. If it is in your heart to seek those paths, another day awaits. Oh, so that's one of the endings. I got like other endings, I guess. Hasty Beard clears his throat nervously. Pardon my interruption, ma'am, but we're no longer any true vessel with which to seek them. Lost at sea she was. A 
silvery laugh ripples the water around them. You have travelled far without her, have you not? But do not be troubled, that which is lost may yet be found. Maybe we maybe meet again at the end of another path. Inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently away into darkness. I guess she indicates the end of a path then. Her words seem to linger, leaving them quiet as they drift in on the fog. I think we gotta restart I think it's restarting then with another adventure now. I think that's the end of one path. So we just swam into the fog and that was it. <laughs> Are we dead now? Ooh. Ooh. Island. We reach somewhere. With our own little burly legs. Well met, Trophy earned. You gonna let the barrels roll away? Well, okay. Where are we? Ah, oh, puffins! Hello, little puffins! I love puffins. Very pretty looking island we've arrived on. What's on this rock? Anything? Plants. Oh, it's a moose! Well, if other life can live here, then maybe we can. Oh! Someone already lives here. Well, well, well. Who is this? A bit more tic-tac. Mm. Huh? How the heck do we end up back here? Thought you find your way to that door eventually, the old man greets him. Familiar has a way of making itself new when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I bet. The men shake their heads. <laughs> we just ended up in the same island as we started on. So I'll have the map, he questions. Steady beard nods, silently passing it to him. And he's gonna like fill it in, because this is one of the endings, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep, it filled it in. to find those adventurous deeds did you meet her I brave beard is the first of the brothers to speak magnificent she was like this jorm of old tales but she told us with more to see I it'll be there when you're ready for another go the old man gestures to the books those shelves are full of tales like yours all with paths left on trunk I even contributed a few in my time. You see, he continues, what's left unwritten in one story can fill others. If you have the inclination to sail again, have another look at that shelf. Ah. Early men at sea, steady beard reads aloud. Not a bad tale, that. But what's all this numerical business on the spine? And how did... He gives them a sly look. There's another mystery if you have the curiosity for it. And one last thing, continues the old man. I don't mind chilling ye now that the last one who sent your bottle to sea. I've seen another to be tossed down for the next curious soul. Will you do the honour? So I guess that book was the um, was that one story, and if I do different paths, it has given me other stories. So I'll look the other books. I have to unlock all the books. I think that's it.
Well then. So I guess we start our adventure again then. Oh! Art and animation, story design. I guess that's technically the end, but we can do more. I'm not entirely sure what the other path would have been though, because um, maybe leaving without the barrel was a choice? Waiting might have been a choice. This music is great. <laughs> we'll try another path and see what we can get. Might as well, the game isn't very long. Wow, this music is pretty mental. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds like someone had a lot of fun making this game. Oh my god, there's someone called Sandercock. That's an unfortunate name. A Quiet Adventure by Brian and Brian. Is it Bri is Brian and Brian or Brain and Brain or something like that? Oh, here we go. What if I talk to you again? The old fella tells me you found what you were looking for, he says, lowering his flute for a moment. Bet it'd make a good song. Surfacing. <laughs> Read steady beard from a notice on the side. Well, wow, that's great, Blubbly Belly Ape. Did us a good deed. Let's go left this time. Can we go left? Oh, I don't think it'll let us. Okay. We'll just have to see what happens the second time. Can we not go left? I'll try and go left if it gives me the chance. I want to go left. Oh! Not again! I guess this has to happen then. I'll talk to you again then. Be welcomed, wayward pilgrim, speaks one of the nymphs, for who can resist the majesty of the old great barnacle? So it is we awaited your return. Hard to resist when you suck down like a clam and a stew, growls Brave Beard. The Great One journeys this way daily, so that through him all may one day find the place of promise. Predictably, the nymphs trade nods of approval. We wait for us here by the fire, or is it the way of faithless you seek? Well, wait with them near the fire, this time. Can we talk to them again, or just... Okay. The men fidget for a moment, a steady beard clears his throat. If you don't mind intrusion, we'll lay here with you fellas. There we go. We're gonna wait with them, that's a different choice. Sit, friends, for those who follow the Great One, there is no mind. Aye, that's plain, grins brave beard. Three men sit. There's a silence, and the nymphs began to speak in return. And speak in turn. Within the Great One, the Great One encircles us in the circle of all things. The Great One's kindness is as... Whoa! Genetically modified potatoes. The man begins to nod off, now catching only pieces of the nonsensical exchange as they fall into a deep sleep. Oh, we're sleeping. Biodiversity. Are we dying? We're just falling asleep. Final stop. Please exit through the front with your belongings. Trophy earned the path of waiting. Oh, okay. Well, the whale just let us out! After transporting us, that's nice of you, Mr. Whale! Those long-haired imps let us sleep through our stop, complains Hasty Beard. As they sail out into the sunlight, Brave Beard merely shudders. <laughs> it's like, we just came out of a whale. May as well see where we have stopped anyway. Tackiness. Oh, been a while. Where 
Where are we now? Ooh. This looks very interesting, this little island. Nothing over here. Alright. Let's go this way then. Let's go, burly men. Mr. Gollum. The great lumping land rats! exclaims Brave Beard edging edging way away. Stop! The voice is deep and aged as the earth itself. Men and rock stand, staring at one another. Moments pass before the creature speaks to you again. You are small. Something about the naivete of the statement seems to ease the men. You're rather large yourself, tries Brave Beard hesitantly. Thank you, rumbles a small mountain simply. Would you like a flower? I am quite good at flowers. Oh, we don't want to be a bother, begins Hasty Beard. In fact, but the creature is already turning. Ah, oh, bless him, he's quite friendly. Or maybe I will fetch three, rumbling happily to itself. A geological oddity thunders away, the men breathe sighs of relief. Can't leave. He's gonna give us flowers. We'll disappoint him. We should wait for him to return. Let's go and follow him, maybe. Where did he go, anyway? I have done it! I have fetched a flower, the men reluctantly. From the enticing safety of their boat to face a burning earthquake. Gently, the massive fist, stone fist places before them what appears to be an upended tree. Why, thank you, because it's hasty beard. Oh, no. em elbowing the snickering grave What a nice flower, the big creature be. Quite nice. <laughs> what, we're just gonna leave him? I don't wanna leave him. He's a nice guy. There's a tree, there's a tree. Oh dear, it fell over. Creature's shoulders slumped, dejected. It has wilted. You know, I think I've seen another on the far end of the island, suggests Eddie Beard. Why don't you go? I will fetch it, frightening the antenna's being. Turn the more to thunder away. I don't want to leave, he's so cute. I like him. Or maybe three, Hazy Beard calls after them, grinning. Quick, why leave a chance? Leading the way to the boat. No! Don't leave him, that's mean! Oh. He was just lonely. Oh. Quite good at flowers. Trophy earned. I guess there's nothing going on, we just have to sort of wait. Yeah. Did we stop? I don't like the looks nor sound of it. Worry steady beard of the distant rumble. Rather be fetching flowers with that walking rock pile on dry ground. A shower of rain tumbles over them. Suffering squid livers, howls Hasty Beard. We'll be sunk. They bail furiously, but the downpour is relentless. Through the eerie grey, they seem to hear the faint keening of wordless song. Oh, 
Oh dear, mermaids. Or sirens, as I know. We do not want to stay with them. Oh dear. Swim past them. Get away from them. Oh! oh god, that scared me. A flash of lightning suddenly illuminates their surroundings. Woman folk! Yells Brave Beard. There be woman folk in the water! This shout is followed closely by a splash as Hasty Beard jumps in. No! Hasty Beard, what the hell? Of all the kelp headed half wits, second splash helps <laughs> Steady Beard's analysis of the situation. Sighing deeply, he dies after them. Oh no. We're so dead. Finding the dark water empty, the men quickly regret their course of action. Woman folk in the water, try to be earned. Aren't we? We're sinking very low. Can barely see them. We meet again, bearded travelers. Yep, we're dead. She's deaf, I swear. So that's what happens if we wait with the whale, I guess. You have sought new paths this day, she smiles. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet still, others lie untrodden behind you. Her gaze is deep, searching. It is well for you bear the look of those who would seek them. May we meet again at the end of another path. Inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently into the darkness. What a strange game. Basically an interactive story. In the quiet that follows, the men find themselves still, sting still sinking. Bearded Travelers, trophy earned. You get like a bronze, and then a silver, a bronze at the beginning of the path, then a silver at the middle of the path, and then a gold at the end of the path. So. Oh, um. Okay. Walking on the sea floor now, how the heck is this possible? I swear, we're just dead. Oh. Just gonna walk up the up the sea floor to the sea to the island, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Just walk straight up. I guess we're on the foggy island again. Yep, I think we're on the same island, so this is how every story ends. I feel like this might be a puzzle of some sort. Because the puffins move when I click on them. I don't know. Hello again, Mr. Moose. Now we're back 
at the house again. What story have we unlocked this time? The other one was Burly Men at Sea. I uh, presume the other book's gonna be called something different. Hello again, old man. Had another go, did ye? The old man groups and smiling. Well, let's see it. Okay. Ah, you say it's beautiful, that is. <laughs> As I turn to the shelf, he nods. I'd wager there's room for more up there. Well then, I guess we can find another path. Okay, <laughs> here we go again. Now we know what the maps do, maybe we should talk to someone in particular. Hello, Miss Cow. Cute chickens. Ooh, an egg! Babies I can make you make. <laughs> Still making more. Oh, more babies. All the chicken, all the little chick. You haven't laid any eggs yet. Lay an egg. I don't think they'll lay any more chicks. Ah. That's a little detail though. I made them lay some of babies. I want to talk to everyone again now I know what the map does, just in case there's someone I need to talk to to and make another path. Down, the woman greets him, grinning. You know, you wouldn't be way along when your boat showed up without you. She turns back to her work. We tidied up for a bit, and the smith and I. I think you'll find us seaworthy if you're any further mysteries on hand. Oh, it's so nice! These people are so nice and so accepting of the weirdness of the world, which is weird. In a way, that's weirder than what's actually happening. Like, the fact that everyone's just totally okay with all of this. Ching. 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 Anything, uh, anything to say Ching. now, Mr. Smith? Ching. It can't be Ching. sure, but his grunt sounds pleased Ching. for the brother's safe return. Ching. Ching. Okay, everyone just seems to be happy I'm here. So, I guess the boat's just the only thing we can do. I think the only way that you can start your adventure is by using the boat. Just to be doubly sure though, we'll go right to the end. I'm just gonna walk straight off. <laughs> I want to 
go left. I don't think we can. has to happen. I don't think anything else can happen at the beginning of the story. waited with them. We've already gone out in barrels. So what if we don't go out in barrels? Yeah, we'll, have to, we'll escape with no barrels. And we'll see what happens. This will be our exit. Give her a tug. We aren't properly fetated. Yep. We'll go without the barrels. Maybe we'll die. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Fountain of the Faithless. Trophy earned. Let's go left this time, maybe. Give me water, he says, Grass Safety Beard. Well, we've water, all right, and to any spare, any other requests? Aims a fish at his head. <laughs> Shaking his head, or it begins to resolutely to swim. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> Guess we're just gonna swim forward. Heck is this music? Dang. It's gonna take us forever to get anywhere. <laughs> we're just swimming. Miles. Oh dear. I think we're just gonna take forever to get where we need to go. We are getting somewhere eventually. You can see the background moving. Oh! This is new! Land ho! Steady beards. A sudden shout brings the company to a halt. An island? Odd that they hadn't noticed it before. Unconcerned by this mystery, the men splash frantically towards it and clamber up panting. It's not an island, is it? It's going to be some creature's head. Recovering first, Hasty Beard stands surveying the bald hill around him. Not much to it, he observed, but it's dry land in any case. Aye, but what sort of land? Steady Beard bends to poke the ground, which gives slightly beneath his finger. Tis no rock nor dirt, he pokes it again. It is definitely a living thing. Water begins suddenly to boil, the island itself shuddering in an ominous rumble. Brave Beard leaps forward with a grin, dragging a terrified steady beard. This has the makings of a heroic adventure, or I'm a sea cucumber. Oh, it's a giant octopus! <laughs> What do 
have to catch him? I'm not entirely sure what I'm instructing them to do here. Got him! <laughs> Goes. He was mad. More talks. Mmm, tic tacs. Vengeance satisfied. Trophy earned. The creature drags the struggling men deeper beneath the waves, finally tossing them aside in disgust. Vengeance satisfied, it swims away. The men float dazed, unsure for a moment which direction is up. Nice day, comments the passing seal. They stare as it swims on. A voice breaks into their panic. Are you in need of assistance? It's the seal. The brothers flail, now beginning to gulp water. Right then, backs the seal. And is gone as quickly as it had come. The men begin to sink despondently. As their eyes darken, the men seem to hear singing coming nearer and nearer. Oh god, it's the sirens again. They're drowning! No! Oh! The seal's gonna save me? Ooh! They turned us into magic seals! <laughs> The first seal speaks, the transformation will hold until you reach the surface, but you must keep together or risk breaking the spell early. And now, Lord Trinkle, you must part farewell. You perfectly coordinate and die as the seals disappear to the depths. Thank you so much! Wow! Woof woof! Oh, that's so cute! this? Surfacing, they find themselves men once more, who for a moment splash about like happy children under the moonlit sky. Finally sobering, the men look around. Ahead, a stony mass cuts a dark silhouette against the stars, and they approach it with eager strokes. Still, it's a little more than a rock, muses Diddy Beard as they swim. What then? Without answer, the men continue quietly in the darkness. Nice day, trophy end. Look 
for the beautiful moon. I think we just sit here. Yep! I'll wait for the sunrise. <laughs> I think that's the end of that story. area again. Well, that was certainly interesting. <laughs> Hello again, goddess fish thing. We meet again, bearded travellers. You have sought new paths this day, she smiles men nod unnecessarily. Yet still others lie untrodden behind you. Her gaze is deep and searching. It is well for you to bear the look of those who would seek them. May we meet again at the end of another path. I don't know what other path there is. Like, do I have to... I guess I'd have to do the other path first, and then... I'd have to do a path which I'd already done first, and then I'd have to fail the minigame or something, I guess. That's the same as normal, so we'll skip. Like, if we do the barrel one and then let death win, that'd be a different ending then, wouldn't it? But those were three completely different endings. Totally different. Nothing repeated. That's nice. Oh, I think we'll have to repeat stuff now, though. That rock was not there before. This land is magical. <laughs> Here we are again. On the magic island. Again, Mr. Moose. That moose is humongous, by the way. <laughs> moose is like twice the size, the size of us, and we're burly men. Here we are again. Hey, old man, what you got to say about our story now? Had another go, did we? Well, let's see it. <laughs> Aye, so it's beautiful, that is. As they turn to the shelf feed knot, I wish that there's room for more up there. I think they all have to begin with the whale. I don't know how you don't begin with the whale. How do you not begin with a whale? Maybe we go back in? What's he saying now? Thought you might be back. Have another look if you like. Oh, that's just a look at the things. Enter code at Burly Man. See mystery. Sounds like a load of bilge to me. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Alright then. There definitely is no way to go other than the whale at the beginning. And I think there's only three ways out of the whale. And we've done all three of them. One without the barrel, one with the barrel, and one waiting. So... Yeah, 
Here we go again. Dang it, Mr. Whale, why? Let's see if we can do something else this time. barrels again. <laughs> it is a di different finish. <laughs> I didn't realise the dialogue was different. I skipped some of it. <laughs> Hang on. What if I get this and then wait for them? Hello, ladies. Toss back these wooden trousers into the depths from where they came. Only then can you wait with us in the place of promise. Oh, okay, so it won't let you do that path if you've got the barrels. So I guess the barrels has to be one way. Okay, we'll exit out of here then. I wonder if there's anything else we can do anyway. Alright, we're exiting out this way again. This time, let's go left. Right, and we have to visit death, I guess. No sign of him yet. Just a smell of gloom and eternal despair on the wind. Oh, so is there like a chance that there's going to be a different thing? Time passes. There he is again, hello. Oh, you there. <laughs> this time, why don't we let him win? The green figure says nothing as I approach. His mask is sullen blank. Oh, hello. Redbeard, is it still paddling about in that old thing? Promotion, scares the mask, as not bestowed on failures, which is in may observe accurately summarizes the whole of my achievements. The men shift uncomfortably in the barrels. Uh anyway. What do you say to another race? Once more he sets off without waiting for a response. This time let's let him win. No. Nope. them back. Okay. If I drag my guys back, he'll win. There we go. Let him win. Yep. Go let Grim win. Gliding to a stop, the cloaked figure suddenly turns uh, sullenly to face them. What a surprise! How unexpected! Who would have guessed? Shouldn't you be a bit more chipper, having one and all? Rod steady beard. You might think so, replies the creature, but now I'll be given a promotion. 
and a new boat, adds a brave beard. The creature heaves a final desolate sigh. Exactly. <laughs> Unable to follow his logic, the men discontinue the conversation and clamber doubtfully abroad. Hasty beard sits at the back, sulking. They are soon asleep. This is definitely new. Complimentary trip to the afterlife. The sun is setting when they later awake. Their captor is finishing what appears to have been a long, dull story as they approach the cavern of the Stony Island. Where are we? asks Hasty Beard, forgetting to be cross. Is this the afterlife? Cloak figure snorts. One does not simply sail into the afterlife. This, he continues unhappily, is a cave I have found. It is probably not a very good cave. It does seem to be a cave, agrees Steady Beard. But what's it for? It is for you to wait in while I fetch my supervisor. Though I expect he will revoke my license and send me to exile, he adds a characteristic sigh. Shrugging, the men climb out. Hasty Beard salutes the sad figure, paddling away. <laughs> well, we're in a cave now! Welp, what do you know? Let's have a look in here then. Oh! Is there a creature in here? Like a dragon? We sealed us in, the slimy barnacle, rages brave beard into the darkness. Struggling futilely at the door, the men fail, f fail at first to notice the strange blue orb that materializes in the darkness behind them. Whoa! It's pretty in here! Halting before the two tunnels, Bravebeard breaks the silence. Well, which is it? Let's wait to see what our wee guides have to say about it. Advises Steady Beard, stroking his beard savagely. They've yet to steer us wrong. Yet, growls Hasty Beard. I get to pick! Ooh, um. I'm gonna go right. Now then, oh, tic tacs. Oh, are we back where we stayed? <laughs> Looks like our cheerful friend forgot to lock the back door. Grins Brave Beard. Oh, we went the right way, okay. Far in the glow of the moonlight, the men step out eagerly into the night. The back door, trophy earned. Did he leave a boat here? Ooh. Off we sail. Yay, we nicked his boat. <laughs> Off we go! That's what you get for making a deal with us. Death. Well, worse than you. We burly men. Oh, I think that's the end of that story. Really? So the only new thing was the cave. Alright. Now if we go down this path again and go down the left path, then... Of yet another ending. <laughs> Here she is again. Oh, it's like fifteen minutes per each choice, so I don't know how long this is going to be. We meet again, bearded travelers. You have sought new paths this day. She smiles. Blah blah blah. Yeah, same as always. Bye, s s fish, s sea thing, goddess. Take me back to the island. Oh, magic.
right, so we can do that path again and then go left and the left tunnel. Rather than the right tunnel. And we'll see if that does anything different. There goes the boat. Would have been handy to keep that, but never mind. Off we go. On the big island with the ginormous moose again. I swear, that moose could eat me. It's that big. Consider it's in the distance, it's even bigger than it looks. <laughs> Some big ass moose. I tell you what. <laughs> Alright. It's lovely music, this. I like it getting this music when I finish the story thing. Had another go, did ye? Well, let's see it. Yep. Aye, beautiful. There's another one. I'll return to the shelf, he nods, I'd wager there's room for more. Of course. We could go around and round in this forever. Although I am curious, I'm not sure if I want to do every single one in this stream. I don't know, you have to tell me how interesting this is to you. I think I'll go like one more time. path again. Last time we sat with you fellas, you let our missus miss our stop. How do we do with your story? Sip friends, a great one and worth a trustworthy. Three men sit once more. A silence and they begin to speak of turn. Within the great one there is only what is. Before the Great One, all nothingness is, no is as nothing. The Great One brings to us. <laughs> I'll just leave halfway through them talking. Blah blah blah. We really do have to wait then. Right, I'm waiting with you, I'm waiting. We're sleepy. Final stop. You didn't wake us up again! Dang it, girls. Again! The <laughs> safety beard is a sailor. I'll ring their pasty blue necks. I like the way it's different dialogue when you repeat things. That's nice. Can I make friends with this golem now? Maybe if we don't interact with that bird and we just move on? Uh, 
we have to go left. We have to go to the boat rather than... Why don't we just go back in the boat? Yeah, just go back in the boat. I say we sail on, but first I suppose you mind to totter about and disturb the local wildlife. Ah. Uh, so it forces us, we can't move on without doing this. Again, men and rocks stand facing each other. All beings, you must have come back. Hello again, big fella. How are the flowers? Flowers, says the ring. Shall I fetch one? Shall I? Oh, you? Or is it just already stumping away? Bless him. What if we don't leave and we just stay here? Wait for him, or do we have to do something? No, no, don't leave. I didn't tell you to leave. I just told you to move left a bit. We just wait a bit. I'm not sure if this will work. I'll try it. soundtrack to this. I fetched a flower. <laughs> Why, thank you. small beings, I've thrown away the dreadful boat. <laughs> ah ha ha! <laughs> Many people are outside and now vacant water. Suddenly glows a <laughs> hail beneath beards. I'm quite good at throwing, adds the creature proudly. <laughs> oh? Then why don't you take your precious flower and all <laughs> Good idea, because it's how about the demonstration? Maybe it will have glow as the creature breaks into a chaos of celebration. Hold it, there's a hitch! Not a proper demonstration, we don't see it land. Who turns to think? That's a good point, admits the rock creature sighing. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't you throw us with it? The others gape in horror for a moment before catching on. What an opportunity, we'll see your skill first hand. <laughs> He's gonna throw us? Are you ready, small beings? There we go! Whee! Quite good at throwing trophy earned. <laughs> After a few moments, its smile begins to fade. Oh. Sorry for the poor thing. We just wait here? Yeah, I think we do. No ship in sight, growls Hasty Beer. The boot must have tossed her elsewhere. 
As the makeshift vessel floats on against the sun, there's a sudden splash. The men embrace themselves, but the tree glides on unhindered. Twice more they hear the surface of the water, but see nothing. The evening stretches on, their confidence waning with the sunlight. It fears to face us in daylight, the coward. Snarl's brave beard, they wait the uneasy. Oh, fuck! Foiled by the tree, the massive jaws of unseen leviathan crunch to a halt. A laugh burst from brave beard. Poor beast, he got something stuck in his teeth. Ah, if it holds, sob, sob steady beard, eyeing hasty beard's refuge at the centre. Oh, crudge. Oh, God. The jaw snapped shut over the side of the G, launching the men out of the deepening darkest. Satisfied, the creature sinks back into the depths. Well, that's one way. Unsure which way is up, the men struggle to the surface in the empty doubt of water. Well, that's one way to end. Foiled by the tree, trophy earned. Keep swimming. Why are you stopping? And then they sink. I guess we're going to be seals again now? I'm not going to disturb any wildlife this time. <laughs> we found some new paths. again. We meet again. Yep. Here she is. You sort new paths. More, more lay untrodden. Yep. I wonder if there's like any special ending to it if you get all the endings. I don't think there is. I think you just get all the trophies. Still. Pretty neat little game, but I'm not sure if I can be bothered to do every ending. At least not during the stream, you know? do here we just walk on we walk back onto land again. I think this will probably be the last ending I do. I'm going to switch game, I think. Had another go, did ye?
to swap sticks. What does that mean? Oh, the stick that what that does the stuff. Crossload. Huh. Well. Whatever. Uh, but uh, thank you for watching this. This um, I'm gonna switch game. Because I don't think there's much more to this. It's going to get pretty boring. So I'm going to turn it off temporarily and I'm going to switch to another indie game I have on here. And I'm going to change the stream title and stuff. So hang on for a bit.